Hello, my name is Diane Schuster. In this demonstration, I'm going to be working with CozyRock's SSH Connection Manager in the File Transfer tests. I'll be using variables and expressions to dynamically provide the authentication credentials to connect to an SFTP server. The package will load the credentials into the variables from a SQL Server table. So I will show you the table where those credentials are defined. So I just have the private key, that's a path, and then the passphrase, and then the password and the username. And of course, these are not passphrases or passwords I would ever use in reality. So I'm going to go ahead and start configuring the Secure Shell Connection Manager, or SSH Connection Manager. So I right mouse clicked down there and I'm scrolling down to find SSH. And I can double click and open up the editor. Uh, the host is on the local host. In your case, it would be remote. And then the username that I'm starting out with is actually goose and uh, goose pass is the password. All right, so I need to go get the private key, which is right here. And I'll type in the passphrase. And I'll test the connection, and it's good. And down here in the right corner, you're going to see my server. Every time we access it, it's going to uh, do a little pop-up showing us what happened. So that's kind of a nice thing to know that I'm actually connecting with it. All right, so now that is set up, uh, now I'm going to configure the variables that I want to use. So. The first one will be for the private key, and it is going to be a string. And uh, then we're going to configure the next variable, which will be passphrase. And then the next one will be password. And then finally, we're going to set up the username. I am going to go ahead and set up the SSH Connection Manager to use variables and expressions. So I right mouse clicked on the Connection Manager and I go to Properties. And here's a list of like all the properties in there that you could set up using an expression. So I will go up here to Expressions. The first property I'm going to set up to use a variable is Server Key File. So that is the private key. The expression will simply be the private key variable. And then we'll go to the next line. And here we will choose the property called server passphrase. And this, of course, will use the passphrase variable. There it is drag it down here, evaluate the expression, and you can't see it. And for the next one, let's see, probably password, server password. And we'll go get the password variable, drag it down to expression, evaluate it. Again, you can't see it. And finally, the server user, which we'll be using our username variable. Drag it into expression and evaluate it. All right.
right, so now our variables are set up to be used in our connection manager, the SSH connection manager. So now I'll go get the file transfer task, drag that onto the canvas. We double click to open it. And the action I'm going to use is send files. There are a lot of other choices. Uh, for my local connection manager, of course, I'll use the Excel source files connection manager, I'm not using a filter. Then for remote, so this is for our SFTP connection, I'm going to use, of course, the SSH connection manager I just set up. And here's where we select the file path. So there's a root directory that you will be in once you connect with the SFTP server. And I'm just going to load the files right into that root directory. There actually aren't any other directories in that root folder. So I just click OK there. And you can see it actually accessed the SFTP server to see what directories were there to offer them to you here when you're configuring a remote property. So we're done with that. And now I'm going to go back to the execute SQL task and put that in front of my file transfer task so that it will read in those um, the values from the SQL Server table that I showed you in the beginning. So here we say result set as a single row and our connection is this connection manager. It's an OLEDB connection manager. SQL source type is direct input. SQL statement. I'm going to just go copy that from my little cheat sheet here. Paste that in. And now we go to result set. And I'm going to add a line for each of our four variables. So I'm going to put private key path. That's the name of the field in the SQL Server table. And we'll map that to the private key variable. And then we'll add another line here for passphrase. And that's already mapped correctly. Then our field name is password in the SQL Server table. So I choose the password variable. And then we have one more, which the field is called username. And of course, we're going to map that to the variable called username. All right, so we're done configuring that. We've just, when we execute, of course, it will pull in the values to put into those variables, which will then be put into the properties within the SSH Connection Manager which is then used by the file transfer task. So I'm going to save the package. Uh, first, before I execute it, I'm going to show you. So this is the uh, root directory that the server will access once we connect. So that's where the files are going to go. So let's execute it. And there you can see it succeeded. And over here, you can see all of the messages from the server, which I'm using Bitbuy's SSH server. So it says that it copied all these files up there. I'm going to stop debugging. And I'll show you the root directory now has all six of the uh, Excel files in it. If you want to follow us on social media, here's a slide that tells you how you can do that. Thank you for watching.